properties of inverse matrices. Well, suppose we have two invertible n times n matrices, then we have lots of properties. First of all, we've already seen that the inverses are unique. Yeah. Because the definition, the inverse of a matrix is well, well defined, if it exists. Well, secondly, if we take the inverse of the inverse matrix of a, of a matrix A, then we get A back. Well, what we need to show is that actually, in the definition of the matrix, so we here we have, we have to show that B, this matrix B times A equals A times B, is the inverse matrix. So indeed, we found the matrix that is the inverse of the inverse. The inverse of a product AB is the inverse of B times the inverse of A. Well, to show this is we just multiply B inverse A inverse with AB. Then we get, by switching the order in which we multiply A inverse times A equals the identity matrix. Well, we can leave it out, so we get the inverse of B times B equals the inverse. Uh, the, the identity matrix N. So that's one part. The other part, now we uh, interchange the order, we switch the order in, we, we, in which we multiply the matrices. So again, we may switch the order, and then we get the same story. Yeah, A times the identity matrix times A inverse is A times the inverse of A equals I N. So the inverse of the transpose of a matrix is just the transpose of the inverse. Well, we use a relation that A inverse A equals the identity matrix of N. Then we may take a transpose on the left and the right hand side of the equation. Well, if we transpose identity matrix, we will still have the identity matrix. On the other hand, if we take a transpose of this product and we then you know that the order in which the matrices transpose are appearing switches. So also, on the other hand, A times A inverse, we're going to transpose this one. Again, the identity matrix transpose equals identity matrix. So we get that A inverse transpose times the transpose of A equals the identity matrix. So actually what we've seen is that we found a matrix here, which gives A transpose times the matrix here, gives, uh, leads to the identity matrix, and also this same matrix times the transpose of the matrix A gives the identity matrix. So by definition, A inverse transposed is the inverse of the transpose of A.